Come here. No, you're fine. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Come here. All right. Well, hello, Pray and Share Warriors. How are y'all doing tonight? I tell you what, I am exhausted because I did not take my allergy medicine this morning. And I have been like the Energizer Bunny, and I have gotten so much accomplished in one day. Still have to put some laundry in the dryer when I get done, but I mean, I think I know from now on what I'm going to do when I want to get things done. I'm going to not take my allergy medicine and get stuff done. So I invited my cat to uh, be my guest tonight, but she wants out the door now. But too bad she's stuck in here. She might as well come back over. All right, I'm trying to get my music going. Trying to Bluetooth it. Because uh, I can't let you listen to music. Sorry. Okay, perfect. All right. Well, I hope you had an awesome Saturday. I am having me some lemonade and uh, I like just a little bit of 7 up in it. It's really weird. I guess that takes the place of the sugar that I usually put in it. I just use instant lemonade. And I put just like a tiny bit of 7 up in it and it just Oh, it makes it so good. I think I'm addicted. I think I'd rather have that than chocolate. That's kind of weird for me. Okay, so um, last night I got really close and personal about uh, a time in my life, or in our life, my husband and I, and my daughters, and my sons, um, what we went through. My cat's meowing. She wants out. So tonight I want to talk to you about who do you trust? So I kind of showed you why I trust God and how it's like grown through the different things that I've been through. And that's really just one instant. I really have so many more. And I fired my um, thing that I had paper on and instead I put all of my uh, ways to share Jesus on it so I won't be using that anymore I even got all my ink pens picked up that fell off the desk last night so I want to talk to you about that but I do want to start out with some prayer so I am going to pray I wish I could share my music but I can't there we go. All right. God, we just come to you and we just pray, God. We just, we want to lay everything out for you, God, because we trust you with everything that we have because you are the great I am. You are the great Jehovah. You are our everlasting Father. You are the one that is on your throne and in control of all things, even things that we don't understand, God. You have total control over. God, we just need to trust you and trust you more. And God, you are our creator, our sustainer, our provider, our protector. You are our shelter in the storm. God, you are who we look to when we have problems. You are where our help comes from. God, we just, um, we thank you because you are magnificent and powerful and mighty. You are the righteous judge. You will judge all unrighteousness. You cannot be bought off and you cannot be threatened, God. There is nothing that is hidden from you. God, but yet you are so patient in waiting for your children to come through Jesus and your loving and kind and compassionate 
And we just love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And we just pray, God, that um, you would open the eyes and the ears of the lost, God. That you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. We pray for the prodigals, God, to come home. We pray for all the disasters, all the shootings, everything, God, that has transpired. There's a lot that's gone on this month and like this year in general, God, we just pray. We pray for you to meet the needs of these people that are desperate. And God, we also pray for all truth to rise above all the lies that we hear. And God, we also pray for all the people that have lost loved ones. We just pray, God, that you would bless them with peace, comfort, and strength. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, all right, pray and share, warriors. I'm, I'm like, last night what I did was really not my plan, but I feel like it's something that God wanted me to do. And if you'll look at the bottom of my Facebook shares, my three words this year are um, presence, to be more in the presence of God this year, to testify. So last night, that's what I was doing. I was testifying to the goodness of God and to encourage. I want to be an encourager. I don't want to be a discourager. All right, what happened to my music? Right, I don't want to know any stories right now. Sorry. I was really enjoying this music, but it just like shut off. Okay. So this song that I'm listening to right now is the song that I'm going to talk to you about, which is called Power. But the lyrics of Power is all about trusting God. It's all about where does my help come from. It's really good. It is new. It's only like three weeks old. I just stumbled across it the other day. And so I shared it the other day. So this is what I wrote about it. I love this new song and message by Chris Tomlin featuring Bear Reinhardt of Need to Breathe, the band Need to Breathe. This is like the, I guess, the lead singer. Uh, most of the lyrics are in psalms. Like you can find most of these lyrics that they're singing in psalms. It is so powerful. Of course, it's called Power. We did this song last night at Youth. I think they liked it too. Um, and even though it is new, I think they liked it. I love the message of this song. The message is who we trust. I think we all need to be reminded of this fact in a world where there aren't a lot of things we can trust. God is always trustworthy. Um, I guess my words today are, who do you trust? So that, those were my words two days ago. Today is Saturday, I guess Thursday. These were my, day, my words for Thursday. Who do you trust? Um, I trust God with all I have. He has always proven his faithfulness to me over and over again. He is my refuge and my strength in the storm and in the calm too. He brings us a new day of mercies and blessings each day. He sets before us new opportunities each day also to help further his kingdom. God is faithful in ordering our steps each day and helping us use our time wisely also. I love and trust him with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. He sent his son Jesus to offer salvation to the entire world, everyone through his sacrifice on the cross, death, burial, and resurrection. Is Jesus, Jesus is knocking on your heart today. Will you accept him as your Savior and Lord? Please do not continue to wait. Time is running out. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. 
Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John 3, 16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. That song is so powerful. Okay, so then yesterday I shared another song called Your Presence is a Promise and I didn't read it last night. So this kind of went with last night's. You might get a combination of two nights and two nights in one day. But, but hey, this, I just share what I feel like God wants me to share. And I'm also going to share two days of notes that I'm not going to share today because today was pretty personal between God and I talking about uh, some of the things that I would like to do and him giving me solutions, which is something that he does. Okay, so this song that I shared yesterday. I love this song and message by Mac Brock. Your presence is a promise. I love these simple but true lyrics. If someone asked me, who do I trust? I would have to say that he has kept every promise he ever made to me personally and all throughout his word, all promises are kept. I know all, all unfulfilled promises and prophecies will be kept according to God's perfect will and timing. I do not have to doubt or fear that he keeps all promises. When I first got saved, I did have doubts. But as I have continued on this Christianity journey that I am on, my trust has grown more and more every year. And through each storm in my life, do you have doubts? It is okay. Do you lack faith? It is okay. Keep reading God's word, praying and praising, and before long your trust in God will grow and grow. Believe that he will keep every promise and your faith will grow and grow. Keep following Jesus wherever he leads you. Believe that he has a wonderful plan and purpose for your life. God does, oops, I went too far up. God does keep his promises. In his presence is one of them. There are so many, and if you are like me, and he has made you personal promises, then please know that he will keep every one of them. Are you saved today? If not, call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. And I'm just going to leave it there because I already read the other part. My cat is meowing. Gracie, you said you wanted to be my guest. She said she wanted to be my guest. She was in my chair when I came in here. But she's now changed her mind. I guess she is uh, shy. Okay. So that is... Um, that's what I wanted to read to you. But I also found some scriptures about trust that are really good. And we probably will not read all of them. We may talk about trust again tomorrow because... Uh, what? Oh. That's on my computer. I thought it was my phone. I thought, what is my phone doing now? Okay. So let's read some scriptures. We may not read all of these, and some of these we have read before. It's just like God keeps cementing these ideas in my mind. And right now, in this untrustworthy time that we're in, there's not a lot of people to trust. I mean, I, I trust people in my family, have an inner circle of people that I trust. But I don't trust everybody with everything. And that's a great lesson to learn in life. And to find out who you can trust. 
with your information or with things that you want to share. Okay, so Psalms 3, 5 says, it's not 5, Proverbs. Hmm. Proverbs, a different book. My cat's distracting me. It's either my child or my cat that's dis usually distracting me. Okay, well, that's not right either. Three, five. Okay, here we are. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. So we need to trust the Lord with our whole heart. And sometimes we don't even know what we're trusting for. My desk is a mess. I did clean some of it off today. I don't know whether you can see my stack there or not. There's my bunny. I got me a bunny when I went to a fundraiser. I may share that. I've got to figure out what I can share and what I can't share. I might do that next week. Okay, well let's go to a psalm. And I did not put these in order. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Let's go to Psalm 56. Like, like I said, from the time I ate lunch until not too long ago, I was an Energizer Bunny. And so when I get off of here, I'm not doing nothing tonight. I'm not cooking. I'm not doing nothing. I am really, really tired. My Energizer Bunny-ness has gotten caught up to me. My cat is still complaining over there. What time I'm, I am afraid, <clears throat> sorry, this is Psalm 56, 3 through 4. What time I am afraid, I will trust. I will trust in thee. In God, I will praise his word. In God, I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. I may have to get up and let the cat out. I have my door shut in here. I'm hoping that my son won't come in here. Okay, Jeremiah 29, 11. Jeremiah, going the wrong way. Jeremiah, Jeremiah. I guess my cat's camera shy. Gracie, come here, Gracie. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come get in this chair. 29-11. For I know the thoughts, come on, come get up here. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not evil, to give you an expected end. So that's a reason why we should trust him, because he is the one that is in control of everything anyway. He knows, he knows what he wants to do. He knows his plan and purpose for our lives. That was Jeremiah 29, 11. 1 John 4, 18 says this. I'm listening to His Mercy is More right now. It's such a good song. We did it at youth the other night, too. I wish I could find another key. It's really low for me, but I love the lyrics. The lyrics are great. 1 John 4, 18 there is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made in perfect love. 
I don't know what that has to do with what we're reading, but um, let's read Psalms 13.5. I think it goes more with what we're doing. You know, there's a lot of Psalms that talk about trust about trusting God. Psalms 13, 5. 13, 5. But I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord because he hath dealt bountifully with me. In Psalms 44, 40 verse 4, it says, Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Cat's trying to tear up my door. All right. So we already read that. Um, already read that. Okay. Well, I think that's enough uh, scripture about trust. If you think of anyone that you like, uh, then let me know. There is one that I read this morning. Um, let me see if I can find it. And I thought, well, that will be perfect for tonight. So let me see if I can find it. It was not on my list. Psalm 62.8. Yep. Okay. Psalm 62.8. Trust in him at all times. Ye people, pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Selah. And, uh, okay, I'm going to leave that right there. My cat's staring at me because she wants out. She goes, I want out. Why are you having me a, why are you having me a hostage? <laughs> you can come sit in the chair. No, we don't want to. Okay. All right, so for two days, I really haven't shared with you my notes from my quiet time. So this is from the 22nd. Because I ran out of time. It took me a whole, a whole hour more than an hour, an hour and a half to do that lesson only and then to do a salvation message. Okay, so this is what, uh, these are my notes from my quiet time. Good morning, God. Good morning, child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings, new opportunities to share my truths in the gospel of Jesus, a new beautiful day, child to get things done. And I said, thank you, God, for another day of mercies and blessings. New opportunities to share your truths in the gospel of Jesus. Thank you for a new beautiful day, God. Thank you for all of my blessings, God. Help me focus on you, God, and what you have to say. Help me to do what you need me to do today, God. And he said, Child, many, many still do not know me or believe in me like you do. Your belief was not achieved overnight. It is a journey that starts with one decision. Then the journey begins with all of my children. Many things in your life were meant to encourage others and to share with others. Many dreams and visions are to be shared. Share something tonight about why you trust me. Think deep inside yourself for a moment when you started trusting me. And said, okay, God, help me with that because 
I know there was a defining moment, so please help me remember. And he said, look around, child. There is little to trust right now. So many uncertainties, but I can be trusted in all things. I have proven myself faithful to you over and over again in small things, medium things, and big things too, child. You have many stories of my faithfulness to share, but yet you hold back. I have always been constant in your life. You have stepped away, but I have always been with you. Suffering, yeah, what is that word? Oh, suffering while you made wrong decisions, like you do when adult children make wrong decisions. When did you start trusting me fully? Search your memory, your memories and remember when. Share this tonight, child. I said, okay, God, I will think about this all day and come up with a time or story. It was built over time in the more faithfulness and the more faithfulness I saw in you, the more I knew I could trust you, God. The more I read and studied your word, the more I trusted you. Um, the more time I spent praying and my prayers were answered, the more I trusted you. The more I worshiped you and switched my focus off of me onto you, Jesus and the Holy Spirit, the more I trusted you. Trust is earned even with your children. We don't have blind trust anymore. I do now trust you wholly. But it has taken me time and it has been a journey. It helped because I grew up with an influence in my home that loves you greatly and outwardly. Many do not have that gift and I see that more and more. How can they trust you if they trust no one? If they feel they have no one? My heart breaks for these, God. Thank you, God, for showing me clearly all that you want me to share. I will find a moment that it clicked, possibly when Seth was sick and you healed him through your process and Ricky too. Thank you for meeting me today, God. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug. God, I love you too, my child. Now go be obedient in all I ask. The reunion is soon, child, so be ready at all times. All is peace, love, joy, and beauty here like you can only imagine. Jesus comes soon, so keep walking close to him and be strong and courageous, child. Soon all things will change forever. It will be so wonderful to see all of you home safe again. And I said, Maranatha, God. I'm going to go right into uh, yesterday's, but like I said, I'm not reading today's. Uh, today's was a little personal. And... Uh, I just don't feel led to read it. So, um, so yesterday, good morning, God. Good morning, child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings, child. New opportunities to share my truths in the gospel of Jesus. A new beautiful day, child. A new day to get things done. Use your time well. And I said, thank you, God, for another new day of mercies and blessings, new opportunities to share your truths in the gospel of Jesus. Thank you for a new beautiful day to get things done, God. Thank you for all of my blessings, and please keep them safe. Please protect them. Help me to encourage Seth to speak. Loosen his tongue, please, God. Help me to encourage him to be more independent. The progress is slow, God, but I trust in your perfect timing. Uh, child, 
child, your trust in me has to grow over many years, even when your when your prayers are not answered the way you wanted. You see now why and are thankful. I answered with my will and not yours. Many turn away from me when they don't get the answer they want. Many blame me for choices that I did not make for them. As you can see from what you are learning about human trafficking, there are many variables and not all stories are the same. Many are being liberated, but they are but they are bringing oh but they are bringing more from your south part of your country and i said i see all of this and i see a generation crying out for answers and finding them more in the world in their friends than jesus in your word they are crying out for truth but are bombarded with evil deception every day it pours into their minds my heart breaks for for them God but I will be a voice for the truth and I will not back down God I know that you alone are faithful and Jesus is leading us home this is not where I belong the end uh, the end is the best part but the journey is right now I think I'm going to coin that I'm going to coin that phrase. I may make a t-shirt. The end is the best part, but the journey is right now. We are in the journey. Um, God, help me to be the best servant to help further your kingdom that I can be. Help me to be bolder. And he said, child, your mind is in many places this morning. Take a deep breath and focus on me. And he's right. I was like, I was like taking additional notes about things that I was thinking about. So, child, much truth is being revealed this month about many things. And I know that you know a lot of it, but many, but many will be shocked. Pray that they believe what they hear, child. Many people have been deceived for many years, caught up in corruption and threats. Soon they will be free. Soon there will be freedom for many. Be aware in all that you are doing, what is going on around you. Keep moving forward with Jesus and listening to my messengers. All is soon to change for the for the better and the name of Jesus will no longer be silenced the great awakening is taking place child be part of it and be revived and I said I see all that you're saying in your word and happening too thank you for meeting me today God thank you for a new assignment help me to push through to complete it give me the tools that I need God Oh, excuse me. I want to be a soul winner for Jesus, and I trust you with all I have and ever will have. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. And he said, I love you too, child. Focus on the most important things, child. My kingdom and all things will fall into place. The reunion is soon, child, so be ready, but be working in the meantime. Keep your eyes on Jesus and follow him, child. The reunion will be so awesome, child, like nothing you can imagine. I will. It will be wonderful. It will be so wonderful for you all to be home and safe where you belong. And I said, Maranatha, God. Because I believe that Jesus could come at any time. Will he? I don't know. It's up to God. It says in God's word that not even Jesus knows what day or time that is. So we just wait. And while we wait, we work. And we invite people into the kingdom. 
and I found so many different things for and I found some more today I don't know what I did with them I found some more sorry there's an earthquake I hit my desk oh there's there it is I found a bunch I, I cleaned out my dining room today and some of my stacks of stuff I found more I think I'm gonna do this one tonight I think I found another one of these too yeah well, I don't know if I can do this no cuz I don't know it's really cool it's like this little flip thing but I don't know I'll do it another time. Now I don't know how to fold it back. Oh, it's numbered. But there's words that go with it too. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, there it is. Between you and God. Okay. So, oh my. Oh, here we are. All right, where's the first part? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> TJ used to do this all the time. This is part of the E3 resources, too. Okay. It says between you and God. All right, I'm going to run through this and see how well I can do. All right. Oh, okay. Well, this is basically kind of the same as that bracelet, but it's a piece of paper. Okay. Our sin separates us from God. The light on the right represents God. Oh, hey. Here we are. Okay. So the light on the right represents God. But our sin separates us from God. See, we're over here in the red and the black. And the black is the sin. In contrast, the man in darkness represents man in his sin, separated from God. Sin is more than wrong thoughts or actions, but a heart that is inclined towards evil. Jeremiah 17, 9. The Bible says, All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3, 23. Apart from God's grace, man is without hope. Okay. So, let's see. Okay, I didn't fold it outright. Okay. Here we are. Okay. So the cross, the cross is a picture of God's grace. God sent his own son, Jesus, to earth as a man. Jesus died on the cross for us so that he might take away our sins. 1 John 3, 5. God demonstrates his own love for us in this while we were yet, yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. Jesus took away our sin in his own body on the cross so that he could bring us to God. See 1 Peter 2, 24, 3, 18. The Bible says, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. There is nothing we can do on our own to pay the penalty for our sin. If we could then God would not have sent his son to die for us. Only the blood of Jesus can wash away our sin. Oh, sorry. That was falling down. Okay, so there's Jesus on the cross. There's the Roman soldiers. Um, hmm. Oh. I 
think that was three. These are all numbered. One, two, three. Oh, I guess I needed to have that covered up. No, that's part of three. Okay, sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm winging it. Okay, so, no, that was right. So after Jesus died on the um, on the other side opposite of the cross I don't know whether it's left or right for you it's left for me but I don't know whether it's left for you or not after Jesus died men buried him in a tomb sealed with a huge stone guarded by soldiers so that picture at the top is that represents that so then three days later three days later God raised Jesus from the dead declaring that he truly is the Son of God and that God was satisfied with his payment for sin Jesus then appeared to many people before returning to his father in heaven so let's see if I can figure out the rest of this okay three ah oh, four and five okay <laughs> okay the only way we can come to God is through faith in Jesus Christ only Jesus has paid the penalty God demands Jesus said I am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the Father God except through me John 14 6 but just knowing these facts does not secure salvation we must respond to God's grace by trusting in Jesus Christ alone as the only one who can forgive our sins and give us um, God's gift of eternal life so Jesus is the only way Jesus is the only way so trust only in Jesus. Okay. Ah, okay. What is that? Okay. Okay, trust only in Jesus. Oops, I lost it. Where'd it go? <laughs> ah, there it is. Okay. Trust only in Jesus, <laughs> which is on my right. I don't know whether it's your right or left, but anyway, trust only in Jesus. <laughs> We've been talking about trust. It's, it's never a mistake when something like that comes up. It's a confirmation from God that I did what he wanted me to do. Okay. Uh, the penalty for sin is eternal separation from God, but Jesus offers you a free gift a free gift of eternal life with God we need to accept this gift God offers the way we demonstrate our faith in Jesus Christ is by trusting in him alone for complete payment of sin the Bible says that our sin is removed through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe Romans 3:22 are you trusting in Jesus for salvation okay let's see where we go now I don't know I think we do the prayer now I think we're done opening things I think we've opened everything okay yeah, because that goes back to the beginning. And this is called the Evangel card, which is kind of neat. Okay, so the Bible says, uh, can, if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, um, you will be saved. Romans 10, 9. If you are trusting in Christ for your salvation, tell God by praying something like this. So I'm going to lead you in this prayer if you would like to accept Jesus as your Savior tonight. 
And then I'll read you some more things too. There's more to read. Yeah, on the back. Okay. So, dear God, thank you for loving me. up there she wants my chair she doesn't want that chair okay do you want to get up here with me no okay she doesn't want to get up here with me either okay I confess that I have sinned against you I believe that your son Jesus died on the cro on a cross to pay for my sin and that you raised him from the dead. I trust Jesus alone to forgive me and take away all my sins. I confess that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Thank you for your gift of eternal life. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So it says, remember, it's not the words of a prayer that save you. God saves you when you respond in faith to his grace. If you trusted in Christ today, Jesus promises you in John 10 27 28 my sheep listen to my voice i know them and they follow me i will give them eternal life and they shall never perish no one can snatch them out of my hand okay i think okay i'm on this side now okay because you were saved by the precious blood of christ you should follow God and learn to please Him. Here are some of His requirements for you to grow spiritually. Love God and all people. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind. This is the great and foremost commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22, 36-40 Pray to God constantly. Be anxious. I'm gonna do this. These are the little, the little symbols up here. Pray to God constantly. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Study the Bible. There's a little Bible emblem up there. Oh, sorry. Sorry, YouTube. Um, and it says study the Bible God's Word daily start with the Gospel of John read chapter one read one chapter each day like newborn babies long for the pure milk of the Word that by it you may grow in respect to salvation first Peter 2 2 meet regularly with other Christians that's what the little handshake thing is about uh, not forsaking your own assembling together as in the habit of some, but encouraging one another. Hebrews 10.25 And then you have the cross with the world. Tell other people about Jesus. And he, Jesus, said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel in all creation. Mark 16.15 So if you accepted Jesus as your Savior, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. 
Your name is now being written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and the angels are rejoicing because they rejoice every time someone comes to the knowledge of Jesus and asks Jesus into their heart. So you are now saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus, his Son. And so I think that I have done everything that God called me to do. I really like this as much as I like the E3 bracelet. Once I learned how to do it, I was a little bit skeptical for a while. All right. Well, it is time to do God's blessing to you. And I guess for me to get my cat out of here because she's been meowing the whole time. So if it's not my son, if it's not our son, it seems to be the cat. All right. So Numbers 6, 24 through 26 says this. This is a blessing from God. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Sorry, I was looking. My cat. She was a little bit of a distraction, but I wanted to also show you this. So we talked about God always keeps his promises. And so this is the little thing that I bought when our son was a baby that I saw in Dollar General, and I still have it. And I had it in my living room, so I brought it in my office because I think it's a good reminder to have. God always keeps his promises. That's really cute, little teddy bear. Anyway, and the dust on it. There's a lot of dust on it. My, our son's 17 years old and soon to be 18. Okay, well, let's pray. Let's pray. My friend Josie didn't make it tonight. Um, all right, I'm going to upload some music tonight to my YouTube channel that I have on my computer. And uh, I'm going to start practicing a song. I want to sing I Can Only Imagine. Had a lot of people that are very important to me pass away lately, and I want to do it for them. So, anyway, let's pray that that all works out. Okay, well, let's pray. God, we just pray. We just pray, and we praise you, God, because we know that we can trust you. We know that you keep all your promises. We know that you are faithful, God. We know that you are on the throne and in control, and we thank you for that. Help us as your children to walk more boldly, telling people your truth and telling people about Jesus. Again, we pray for all truth, God, to rise above all the lies and deception that we hear every day, God. We pray for your truth. We pray for the things that are going on in Arizona, God. We pray for truth. We pray, God, that um, the name of Jesus would be proclaimed on all lips, God. That we would have a revival that no one has ever seen. That the Great Awakening would awaken so many people spiritually, God. We pray that you would raise us up as the army that will stand for truth, God. We just pray, God, that you would help us to further your kingdom more and more every day, God. Help us to walk with Jesus and to stay close so we can hear what he is saying to us and see what is in front of us, God. Just help us to keep our spiritual eyes open at all times. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, well, uh, it's not quite an hour yet, so much love. Gotta go feed my child. Much love and cyber hugs. And good night.